Welcome to the Thistle Channel Scottish Highland Football League online TV programme. We're at Mosset Park in Forest this afternoon to watch two sides bang in form. Home side Forest have won five of their last six encounters, while the visitors Cove have won seven of their last nine. The referee for this one is Mr. Alan Frew. Here's Gordon Connolly, the Wick manager, just mulling over his options for his half time team talk. There's Richard McCaddy. Craig Shearer gets a bit of luck. That's a nice dummy, though, by Shearer! What a strike by Craig Shearer! Brora continued to press forward. Sutherland was again denied by Stevie Dunn. Gavin Morrison showed great composure and could have scored a cracker had this been on target. Stevie Dunn then made a double save in the Thistle goal, first from this pile driver by Gavin Morrison, and then again he frustrated Xander Sutherland. Let's look again. Sam McKay as well to beat Cammy Bowden, but with the ball running away, it's a 50-50 between him and Stuart Cumming. And as Cumming tries to get to his feet, it seems as though Mackay may be holding on a little. All just handbags, but then it got a bit messy when Lucas Garuzel weighed in and pushed Cumming to the floor. Well, the referee, Alex Shepard, taking his time to decide what to do here. And he's reaching for his pocket, and it's a straight red for Cumming and for Garuzel. Two sendings off. Well, Alex Shepard not standing for any messing around today. We're down to 10 aside after just 16 minutes. Watson with a header, only as far as McPherson. And here's Kuchishvili again. Wonderful feet by Kuchishvili, a 1-2. This is great football by Forrest, and headed away for a corner. Well, Kuchishvili grew up in Milan in Italy. A stone's throw from the San Siro Stadium. Watching the stars of Inter and AC Milan, and he showed real technical ability there. Name to watch out for in the Scottish Highland Football League, Dachi Kuchishvili. Well, Nairn County's manager, Les Fridge, will surely be looking to Stuart Leslie for some goals this afternoon with the omission of Connor Geffins. Any team would miss the quality of a player who's played 99 games, scored 99 goals. Quite unbelievable record of Conor Geffens. Nice piece in today's programme about the Irishman. That's great vision by Robbie Duncanson to pick out Daniel Moore. He whips the ball in looking for Leslie again. Well, it's a combination which Inveruri Loco Works will have to watch this afternoon, that's for sure. In the second half, Xander Sutherland showed why he'd played nearly 50 games for Inverness Caledonian Thistle in his career. It was his inch-perfect cross which was met by Stephen Mackay to nod home Brewer's third. And Mackay grabbed his second of the match just seven minutes later. Sutherland again turning provider. His perfectly flighted free kick was a gift to the in-form Mackay, who rose above the Forest defence to score a wonderful header. So a quick look at the Highland League table. Four teams have taken maximum points from their first three games. Fraserburgh climb into the top of the table with their 2-1 win over Nairn County. Lossiemouth grabbed their first win of the campaign with a 5-2 win at Huntley on Saturday. The Black and Gold's one of three teams yet to pick up points.